Welcome to The Score, fantasy basketball podcast, where you get great advice on how to stay ahead of your competition here in these fantasy basketball streets. Now, the dopest analyst in fantasy basketball, Waver Wire Queen. What's going on? Welcome to the Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast. It's Wave of Wire Queen. This week, I will be giving you uh, some players you should consider adding week 10. And these players I'm recommending because of various reasons. Several players are in uh, the health and safety protocol due to, to COVID, obviously injuries and other uh, matters such as uh load management and and scheduling uh, difficulties. I've been away for at least uh, two weeks. I've been dealing with a concussion. So this week I'm going to be doing things a bit differently and fairly quickly. I haven't been on a laptop in a while. And part of my recovery and getting out of this concussion protocol is to start having some type of exposure to a laptop. So I'm going to be doing this uh, fairly quickly so I can get off of the laptop. And again, like I said, this is part of the recovery process, which at some point will um, allow me to be on uh, my computer or laptop for an extended period of time. I'll tell you, concussions is is very seriously, no, they're no joke and something I don't ever want to experience again. But nonetheless, again, what I will be doing today is just giving a lot of names. Normally, I would uh, give detailed statistics, but I'm not going to do that due to uh, time limits. I am on restrictions in regards to the concussion. So I, I tell you. I've always sympathized with uh, the athletes, whether that was football or basketball, due to concussions. But once you experience it and deal with it, you get a better understanding of of what these players are are dealing with and going with. And don't wish it on anyone. And um, let's just jump right into it. So there are several players who are out due to COVID. Right now, they're in uh, health and safety protocol. There are teams that have so many players that cannot play because of this. Um, We got the Greek Freak, KD, Jordan Poole, Harden, De'Aaron Fox, Davian Mitchell, Evan Mobley, Bobby Portis, Mo Bamba, Terrence Davis, Marvin Bagley, Alex Lean, Dwight Howard, Anthony Edwards, Marcus Morris, Serge Ibaka, Avery Bradley, Malik Monk, Kendrick Nunn, Talon Horton Tucker, Reggie Bullock, and um, several more. That's a a long list, and that's some really talented players. Several teams are missing several key players due to the health and safety protocol. And when you add in injuries, that means rosters are going to be um, short of players. We already had uh, some Bulls games this season um, be postponed and moved. So it's some tough times. Again, when you add in the injury aspect, it, it makes it even harder. Make sure you guys are uh, subscribing to the YouTube channel this week. It's going to be all audio on the YouTube channel, nothing visual. Again, due to time limits and exposure to light because of this concussion I'm dealing with. But nonetheless, just make sure you are subscribing uh, to the channel. Some key returns due to injuries, and these players haven't played yet this season. You got T.J. Warren with the Pacers, Clay Thompson with the Warriors, Thomas Bryant with the Wizards, Roy Hichimaro. With the Wizards, James Wiseman with the Warriors. These guys haven't played yet this season due to injuries and will be uh, great assets to their team. So if you can pick any of these guys up and just stash them, please do so because these guys should be able to help their teams out. When you think of some of these names last season or in Clay's uh, 
situation a few seasons prior obviously these guys were producing for their team and then you got Kyrie Irving he will be uh returning to BK as a part-time player and those are going to be away games because uh, BK is desperate for players you have um currently their top two best players out and then you have several other players who would have uh pretty much stepped up in their role out as well so Kyrie is back short term though and he's going through whatever he needs to go through he needs a certain amount of negative tests and then he'll be cleared to play so if he's available on waivers pick him up because he should be able to help anybody's team who's dealing with this like we're in des- desperate times right now so some key injuries players who should be coming back um uh, soon you got Jimmy Butler with the back Tyler Hero quad Cole Anthony, ankle, McCollum with the lung, Paul George, elbow, Anthony Davis, knee, Luca, ankle, and Devin Booker, hamstring. He should be returning soon. So some of these players I mentioned is due to uh, the injuries. And so they are having to step up and play. And also uh, Dante DeVincenzo with the uh, Bucks definitely going to have an increased role due to injuries with uh, Middleton and the Greek Freak in the protocol right now. So um, last season, he averaged 10 points, 5.7 rebounds, three assists, and one steal. And he shot a good percentage from threes. Um, he's definitely going to have a lot of opportunity, and he was their starting guard. Um, Kevin Herter with Atlanta. He's rostered right now in 43% of leagues. Fantasy points, he's going to get you between uh, 17 and 19 points. Some nights it may be a bit more. He's definitely someone who can help, and he is stepping in to uh, a role where he's going to ha- see increased minutes because of um, Bogdan Bonovich. He's, he's having some injury issues. He's out right now. And then some other players who are are just out for um, Atlanta. So check him out. Pick him up. He's averaging 10 points a game, a little over three rebounds, and a little over two assists per game. So he should be able to help. Alex Burke has stepped it up this season. Starting, I wonder, due to all of the uh, players in uh, the protocol for um, the Knicks, Will uh, Tibbs allow Kimber Walker to see some action? We'll see if desperate. (laughs) You never know what they're going to do. But Alec Burks, he's been playing very well now that he has been elevated to a starter. He's rostered in 58% Yahoo leagues. He's going to get you between 20 to 23 fantasy points. He's averaging 11 points per game, four rebounds, two assists, and one steal. So he is somebody you should consider. Blake Griffin is a player you should consider adding for BK. Again, this is more of a, they don't have enough bodies. So he has to start and he has to play. And so far he has produced since he has uh, seen an increased role, more minutes due to players being in the protocol because of COVID. When you have KD and Harden out, you already know is desperate. It's desperate times because even some of their guys or, or who would uh, normally step into a starting role because those two are out, they're out. So Blake, definitely. He's rostered in 30% of Yahoo leagues. Um, he should get you between 16 and 18 fantasy points, maybe even more on some nights because it's that serious. It's, they are um, in a tough situation, which is why they worked it out with Kyrie on a part-time basis. So Blake, On the season, he's averaging 6.2 points, 4.9 rebounds. Some nights that's going to be obviously much more because they are struggling with with players being available due to this. So um, consider Blake. And again, that's short term. Some of these guys are just short term options. Patty Mills, another short term option because of so many players uh, being unavailable for B. K. He's rostered in 58% of leagues. He's going to get you between 19 and 21 fantasy points. He's averaging 13.3 points per game. Again, KD and Harden are in health and safety protocol. So 
consider. So I'm going to give you a quick list of players who can help in the short term due to uh, health and safety protocol and injuries. You got Cameron Johnson, forward with the Suns, Cameron Payne, guard with the Suns, and his role may start to uh, decrease because Booker should be coming back soon. You got uh, Tristan Thompson, forward slash center with the Kings, Isaiah Thomas, just signed with uh, the Lakers, his guard. He's going to see minutes because they have quite a few players who are uh, unavailable due to uh, health and safety protocol. You got Kyle Anderson, guard for the Grizzlies, the De- DeAnthony Milton, guard with the Grizzlies. Obviously, uh, Morant isn't available. He's out due to injury, so those guys have been stepping up and helping. Evan Fournier, guard for it with the Knicks. That is very, very short term because he's had opportunity this season and has not produced what he normally was producing when he was with uh, the Magic. So short term, short term, short term. Um, Chris Boucher forward with uh, forward slash center with the Raptors again with him. He was one of those players that I said was a big time fantasy bust this season, which he to me still is, but they have uh, some issues going on. So he is definitely playing and seeing minutes. And with that, he has been producing Patrick Beverly and Malik Beasley. They are um, producing right now due to, you know, players being unavailable. Uh, Malik Beasley, I expect them to have a better role this season, but unfortunately, no. But when he has seen increased minutes, he has been producing. And Patrick Beverly currently is starting. So he's a player that you should add because if nothing else, he's going to uh, be a stat stuffer on a, on a, uh, at the low end. And what I mean by that is he's going to get you maybe a few points, six, seven points, uh, a few rebounds, a few steals, maybe even some blocks. He's going to do a little bit of everything. Um, some other players who can help in the short, Dwayne Deadman, Bam is out. He's going to be able to help that team because they have so many players out to injuries and um, the health and safety protocol. You got P.J. Tucker, very short term. Even though he has started for the Heat early on in the season, wasn't a factor. He is a factor now because they just don't have enough players. So another short-term option is some of these guys you can look at in DFS as well. You got uh, Duncan Robinson. Another player to to uh, consider short term, very short term, because Tyler Hero, he's another player struggling with some injuries right now. Uh, Gary Harris, the Magic, are desperate right now in some spots, so he has stepped up, and he is definitely inconsistent, but he should be able to help some nights in the short. And when I mean by short term for some of these guys, I mean, it may be one game or for the duration that some of these players are going to be out because they are um, in, in protocol because of uh, the COVID issues. Um, Trey Burks, another player. And a lot of that has to do with Luca being out. He may have some value once Luca returns, but it's going to be very, very, limited. Um, Tyus Jones, that's because uh, Morant is out. Grayson Allen, very limited and short term. And you got to realize it is only because they are uh, missing some players. And these are the key players. Um, again, DaVincio should return and that will, to me, eliminate any type of value Grayson Allen will have. Um, Pat Connaughton, he has played very well this season. He's one of those players I like for the duration of the season, but um, not at the level was of what he is doing right now. DeMarcus Cousins, he is a spot start short term because they just are missing several key players, whether that is due to the protocol or injuries. So spot start. Short term for for anyone uh, looking at players for the Bucks, Robin Lopez. Obviously, uh, Mobamba is in the protocol. Um, Chuma, oh, 
Kiki, another player to look at. Um, I have Looney on this list for the Warriors because they have several players who are unavailable uh, Saturday tonight, 12-18. So he should play very well. And some of those rookies may um, see extended minutes as well. So daily fantasy for him at, as a center, salary should be very low. JaVale McGee, another short term, very, very short. Cody Martin, his value is really good. It's been pretty good over the last uh, two plus weeks. I see that kind of uh, going back down, come back down to earth. But right now, as long as he is producing, take a chance on him, whether that is DFS or a spot start for your team during the week. Kevin Love. Obviously, with Love, you know, he'll be out some time due to injuries. Nonetheless, he has uh, played well when he has played. You got Mobley in the protocol. I would have uh, elevated marketing, but marketing is marketing dealing with uh, injuries. He did not play Friday because of back issues. So I would trust Love over uh, marketing at this point. And if marketing can come back, then he is a player that you'll look at and say, oh, okay, cool. So I'll give you a quick list of some trusted long-term options that I really like and you should be looking at. And some of these guys are available. France Wagner, guard forward with the magic, been very good all season, very consistent. Jalen Brunson, guard with the, the Mavs. Even though Luca is out, once Luca returns, he should still have a good role with the team because he has had a really solid, role all season. Very much one of the most trusted players on this list. Dylan Brooks, God for it with the Grizzlies. I have him on this list because he is going to still produce that 18 points per game. Josh Hart, guard for it with the Pelicans. He's going to uh, do a little bit of everything. Score, rebound, play some defense. That means he's going to get you some steals or blocks. He has been very solid, one of the brighter spots for the Pelicans so far this season, and he's been consistent when he has played. Now, Sierra Little has started to uh, play consistent minutes, uh, so he's a player to look at. May have some nights where it's a bit inconsistent, but nonetheless, he has still showed me that he has uh, pretty much been one of their more reliable uh, younger players of uh, Ricky Rubio, very consistent guard for the Cavs this season. So pick him up. Make sure you use him. I was able to pick him up today, and I'm going to be uh, starting him tonight. So pick him up. He should not be on waivers, but you do have some some uh, team managers who like to work the wire every game, every, every single day, and add drops. Okay. Rubio should be on Terrence Mann, guard for it with the Clippers. Been a bit up and down this season. Some of that is doing to uh is don't is is because of minutes, but when he has been given the minutes, he has played very well. Dorian Finney Smith showed me that he has been consistent with uh the Mavs. Maxi Kleber forward with the Mavs, another player who's trusted, Eric Gordon. Uh, you got Jalen Green and Kevin Porter out. They both been out for a while. Even when they were there, uh, Gordon was still in the mix, and he will continue to be in the mix once they they return more in a, res a reserved role. But you know, with Gordon, he's going to be the guy that's going to score points for for um, your team. That's pretty much what he'll give you. Jason Tate, another uh, more consistent player for the Rockets. He's forward. Very consistent. Afrin Sengun, guard, sorry, Afrin Sengun, <laughs> forward slash center for the Rockets. He has seemed to jump uh, Daniel Dice, and he's been playing well. So he's another player that's shown a lot of consistency in regards to whatever you, you may be looking for in a given period of time on from a player who's on waivers. Tyrese Maxey is quad issue, so he's questionable so you want to look at that but he has had some moments where he hasn't played very well but the good games has definitely outweighed the the bad games so 
he's going to be consistent and is going to be a part of the Sixers. Herbert Jones, forward with the Pelicans, has been showing some, some really good consistency, and he's another one of the very few bright spots for the Pelicans this season. Monty Morris, guard with the Nuggets, definitely consistent all season long. Murray is out. He should be a part of the mix once Murray returns. So don't uh, panic and drop him. Keep him because he's going to be a part of what they do. Jared Vanderbilt is showing a lot of consistency for with the Timberwolves. So if nothing else, look at some of these guys, whether they may have uh, the value in DFS or short-term value. The goal is to identify players who will be able to help your team for a game, a week, duration of the season, for however long. You want to identify players who sh should help your team, and most of these guys will be able to, to help your team out. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in and bearing with me. Make sure you are subscribed to the uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you hit the like button and leave some comments on uh, what you want to see and what you want to hear from uh, the SCORE Fantasy Basketball Podcast. I'm Wave of Wire Queen. Y'all have a great day. Peace. Thanks for listening to The Score Fantasy Basketball Podcast. Be sure to subscribe to The Score for more fun and great advice on how to win at fantasy basketball. And if you've got comments or questions about The Score, send them to waverwirequeen at gmail.com. The Score.